Taurus, you are becoming someone new when it comes to self-love. This has been very difficult for me. I've had a lot of challenges this week, even with other Tauruses who are trying to love themselves. And that was getting in the way of me trying to love myself. So sometimes it's not a perfect match. You have to agree to disagree because you have to love yourself first. But Tauruses are at the core being called to love their inner child and love themselves first. This will then create a world that you love, a creative path that you love, a romance that you love. So you're either going to love what you create or you're going to not love what you create based on whether you are loving yourself first before you love another. Now, the Mars in Gemini has to do with abundance and business. Tauruses and Taurus Risings are moving forward now with a new plan to manifest abundance. Abundance may be money or lots of widgets or publishing something or creating a project or a new revenue stream or a job. It's anything and, under th anything and everything under the hood. Jupiter has still got a lot of work to do when it comes to finances and abundance. However, this new ploy for making money must be reconciled with your social reputation and your social mission in the world. You have come to be a certain person at a certain time in order to fulfill a God mission in the world. Every Taurus is doing God's work in the world. Every Taurus has Pisces ruling their 11th house, their relationship to the world. The problem was is that you had so much karma that your relationship to the world was not pure and authentic to who you are because you were trying to not be who you were. But now you know who you are and who you're not. Now you know how to be on the right side of your heart. And so whatever plans you have to make a lot of money it must be in concert with your spiritual mission. The pajama party in Libra has to do with your health. It's now time for Tauruses to get into a state of being that is now free from past mistakes. Forgive yourself from anything you've done to your body, injuries you've done to your body, where you've ignored your body, where you've ignored your nutrition, where you've done toxins such as cigarettes or other things. Let that all go. Let that trauma go. You are getting a fresh slate when it comes to the relationship you have with the moment or your relationship you have with your body. And once Venus conjoins Juno at the end of the week, you're going to find that you find a new synergy energy with how to relate to your moment and how in the present. So it's a kind of a renegotiation with how you live in the moment and in your body. It's serious joy, joy, joy.